Hello, I'm Cecil Atchison. This is Sharon Atchison. This is, uh, we're going to do some praying this morning uh, during this time of prayer. And to introduce that, it occurs to me that we are wired for prayer to our Creator. Though this impulse may be, well, dormant in some people, it quickly springs to life when a person is faced with danger or disaster. We seek the one who is in control when we are keenly aware that we are not. We seek the one who can help us when we are helpless. But without knowledge of who the Creator God is, such efforts are rather futile. There is, however, hope for our prayers. We do not launch them into some empty cosmos. The reason for our hope is that our Creator has first communicated with us. God in Christ himself walked as a person. We can call out to a personal God in Jesus who has invited us to pray. So let us pray together. Lord, help us to pray in the Spirit at all times. Help us to be faithful and continue to pray for your people. With this in mind, Help me to be a blessing in word and deed, knowing that you have, you have it all under control. Let me always to seek you and to be in your will. I praise and I give thanks for your love, grace, and mercy. Help me not to be impeded in my prayers by defective understanding resulting from past problems and pain. Rather, pour out your love into every pore of my being. Reign in my heart and guide my life. Each day, help my commitment as your disciple to grow stronger. Most of all, Lord, I need your presence. Be with us this morning. All we want is your presence with us. Psalm 42, may your unfailing love be with us, Lord, even as we put our hope in you. Let us be with you. Let us come before you with thanksgiving. Praise the Lord for his unfailing love. Put a new song in our hearts and in our mouths, a song of praise. Hallelujah. This morning, we have many storms in our lives, personal loss, financial loss, anxieties, Whatever the trouble, we can endure if you are with us. Whatever the dark valley we may, go, may be going through, we praise you and ask only that you be with us. In Jesus' name, amen. Father God, we often feel small and incapable of doing anything that would change our world. We throw up our hands in despair, overwhelmed by the size of our foes. How could we possibly slay a giant? Wouldn't it be better not to try at all than to try and fail? We forget that we do not act alone, but that with your help, anything is possible. Help us to remember that an act that seems small and insignificant, like a donation to a food bank, might not eradicate world hunger, but it will help alleviate the hunger of one family. When we feed the hungry, clothe the naked, and seek justice for the powerless, we are small people taking shots at giants like poverty and hatred. Empower us with the Holy Spirit. Arm us with your love. Guide us, Lord, with, your, with our hands and our hearts, and help us to stand firm and tall. 
when we encounter the Goliaths in our community and in our lives, even if that giant is a virus. Help us to remember that you are the source of our strength. May we enter our battlefields with the courage and determination of David facing Goliath. Amen. Psalm 121 says, We look to the hills from where does our help come. It comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Lord, at this time, and we, we need your help. O oh God of all creation, we give you honor and praise. You are worthy of praise. You are the source of all that is good. You are the source of all of our blessings. Thank you for every gift that you have given us. We thank you for this opportunity to pray and worship. We thank you for minds and hearts and hands and mouths to worship you. We ask you to bring blessing this morning to the worship service at 10 o'clock. We ask you that you guide and direct that service so that it is full of love and joy, peace, faithfulness, goodness, gentleness, and grace. May those watching through the internet be drawn to you in worship this morning. As we love you, help us all to look on the world with compassion in Jesus' name. Lord, our country has suffered sickness and death from this uh, persistent and, and pestilent virus. We in the church have suffered pain and loss. It's hard to see how anything good will come from this disease, but our trust and our hope is in you. We have seen you take terrible circumstance, circumstances that looked irredeemable, and we've seen you turn them to good. We ask you, Lord, to redeem terrible loss and anxiety and economic depression to good, some way, somehow. Restore, O oh Lord, what the locust has eaten, we pray. Amen. O oh Lord, our hope is in you. Help us with our hope. Help us to live in joyful expectation for tomorrow, that our tomorrow would be better than yesterday. We know that you love us and that you are working for our good always. We thank you, Lord. Jeremiah says in verse 29, 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Now, I'd like you to listen to uh, what the Lord says in verse 12 and 13. We've all heard that verse 11, but listen closely to verse 12 and 13. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all of your heart. I will be, be found by you, declares the Lord. Help us, Lord, to seek you with our whole heart. It is like we are captives of this virus. We can't socialize, we can't travel, we can't work. Free us, we pray. But also we pray, Lord, to free us from the deadliest virus of all, sin. Forgive us, we pray, redeem us, we pray. O oh God, by your grace, grant us obedience to yield a little more of ourselves today. Break our hearts for the church and the church's heart for our community and the world. Let us be part of what you're blessing. Put us where you want us and let us be content. If we can't be content, please make us faithful. Help us to see you 
in the tasks that you have given us to perform. May we be faithful in performing all of those tasks. When making decisions about the direction we are going, may we always choose the path that falls in the shadow of the cross. It will be the path less traveled, but it will be the path most blessed. Amen. Father God, help us to walk by faith and not by sight. Where our faith is weak, help it to be strong. Help us always to be persistent in prayer. Lord, may we receive your blessing of health. With your healing touch, restore bodies and minds and arrest disease. Be merciful, Lord, and kind to each patient. Brighten our spirits as we draw close to your goodness. Cover us, Lord, with the blanket of courage. Protect medical professionals everywhere. Enable the hospital staffs to carry out their sacred duties. Protect and bless our families, Lord and grant us peace. Philippians 4, 8 says, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things and the God of peace will be with you. Let us conclude our prayer time with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.